What's up, dude? You asked me a lot of detailed questions about 8 and the operation of the REST system. I thought it'd be a good idea to show some of the footage I took uh, during my cockpit checkout with Leo, who's a dealer in Tennessee. The basic details are it's empty weight for 18 meter configuration, 339 kilograms, pretty light. And it has two removable batteries, each about 50 pounds or 25 kilograms. And those are dense enough to provide a self launch to a reasonable altitude, at least 2000 meters or so, or about 6,600 feet. Some of the key differences between the JS3 Res and the normal JS3 are um, the wingtip design. There's a completely separate tip instead of being one part now and they're also a little bit heavier for floater reasons to compensate for the extra mass that's in the fuselage from the batteries and and all the associated controllers and a tailplane is also slightly larger to help with spin recovery um, with the propeller out since that disturbs a lot of the airflow going over the fuselage in the tailplane so with that i'll let leo take it away leo okay so whether it's up or down we can go right into auto mode. This one's designed, if you boot it up, it's going to stay where it is because it doesn't know if it's, if it's safe to retract. And I'm just going to flip this on. Okay. So it's checking the retract mechanism, battery control, isometer, all those kind of things. Okay. And then it, uh, it does a power bus pre-charge. And you can hear the motor is kind of humming. Yep. And that's the centering, okay? Um, and the icon is showing it's centered. Yep. And the pylon is showing partially up, okay? So I'm just going to go from this position, I'm just going to bump the toggle switch once up. It should raise all the way. Okay. So right now, I'm not going to turn the throttle knob, it's armed, it'll spin. Okay. okay. Um, and you can see it's showing it's ready. Yep. It's centered and it's ready. You've got the two battery voltages. You've got a battery temperature. It's showing the motor temperature. The icon is the propeller. And it's showing the controller temperature. Cooling fans are not running. Okay. The cooling fans kick in at 40 Celsius. And so it's really important when you do a takeoff that you're looking at the controller temp. If you see the controller temperature just ramping up rapidly, um, you need to abort the takeoff, okay? okay? Because that means for some reason the fans didn't kick in. Let me go through storing it, okay? So it's one bump down, all right? And it's gonna lower. And notice it says auto. And the, and the arrow is showing all the way down, okay? Yeah. And it's gonna go bang when it closes, okay? That's normal, <laughs> okay? All right? That was a good bang. <laughs> all right. Now, let's say you shut down in flight after self-launching, and notice that some of these things turn off, okay? Yeah. So right now the prop is no longer centering. Yep. Okay? And the controller is off but it's still alive and it's monitoring your battery temperature and your battery condition. Yeah. If I bump the toggle switch down at this point, it's gonna start charging your 12 volt battery. Actually open these and you should be able to see the green lights. So you can, as part of a pre-takeoff, you know, let's say you were gonna get an aero tow and you yeah. just wanna verify, hey, am I fully charged or something wrong? Yeah. You can look in here. So let's just say you're flying around and you want to deploy this in flight. Bump that up arrow one time, yep. There you go. You got a pre-charge. You should hear the motor centering. So at this point you're ready and you just rotate it clockwise and it'll run. Go ahead and start to retract it. So press it down press once. Down. Press it down once, okay? Now what I want you to do is press it down again. Uh, press it up again, sorry. There you go, right there. Oh, so up stops. Okay, and look what happened. It went from auto to manual. Yep. Okay. Now that toggle switch, you can position it where you want. Okay. Go up, down. 
let's just say you stop the prop by throttling it to zero. You would normally verify that it was at zero, okay? Before yeah. you hit the down, Yeah. okay? But the other way is, let's say you're at full power and you press this guy down, it's gonna take that as an emergency shutdown. It's gonna go to zero, it's gonna center and retract all based on that one command. I'm gonna intentionally push it out of the way and it'll fight me. Wouldn't let everybody do this, but you know, just be ready to pull your hand out of the way, okay? So, it, you know, as I hold, the longer I hold it, the more resistance it gives, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to start it up in maintenance mode. So we press this and flip it up and it comes up in a different screen. Okay. Okay. The motor is not humming, number one indication, okay? I'm gonna now raise it manually. So I'm gonna raise it and I've actually got a supply voltage error, I'll clear there. So it's coming up, okay? And what's important right now is you don't let that blade spin. There's nothing centering it right now. Yeah. So it's up and you can see it it's showing extended yep. in green, okay? But we don't have this guy centered, okay? That's um, a 3M leading edge protective film. So three ways there, you got full auto, the manual uh, overlay, and the service mode. I keep calling it maintenance mode, but the service mode. Thanks, Leo. Sure. So um, if you want to jump in, and they were all the way out. I like them all. I've got, I've got a short torso and long, long legs, so it feels pretty good. You can fit a big dude, a lot bigger than me, anyway. Oh yeah. If you can't reach, are you familiar with this buckle? You see this black tab right back there? Aha! Uh -huh. okay. Nice. Now you can lean forward, grab the canopy. Okay. Your trim down there. Trim. So for takeoff, I'm normally about back one third. Then forward of that, you've got your two bug wiper toggle switches. Yeah. Okay. And then of course you got your air brakes and your flap. Yeah, towards the back, it's it, the canopy curves back a little yep. bit. It's kind of tight to get it in there. Okay. Um, flaps. Yep. Um, go ahead and get a feel for that, and and you'll find the force in flight is not that different yeah extremely light it's very light and it's really nice and um, you've got a bunch of settings there a lot of guys ask you know which settings um, to fly you know the, the takeoff in the landing in thermal and um, so basically um, flat four is typically your takeoff and your thermaling okay um, on a GA runway like this, I land with flat five. I don't even go all the way back beyond that. You can. Yeah. Like if I was doing a, an off-field, I would go all the way back. But on a paved runway like this, flat five is okay. Yeah. Um, so I use four for takeoff, four for thermaling. And then you'll find that you spend very little time in three unless you're just kind of milking it at best glide. Most of the time you're thermaling in four and you're running in two. Fully loaded lap two at the top of the green you're 40 to one cool okay i think that's what 108 knots or something well you don't have it <laughs> i think 108 knots is the top of the green and you're 40 to one so break check check that i've got some compression there you pull the knob outward and then slide it but yeah keep going it's a little bit tricky yeah it's, it's you almost have to put yeah there we go the middle setting is the main wing tanks, um, and then the full setting, and, and partially tail, okay? And okay. The, and the tail will also be open. The ballast okay? tank. And then all the way forward is going to be the wing tips, which you dump last. Okay. And the, and the mains will then open further, and the tail will open further. Okay. Okay. So basically, the middle position you're not dumping from the wingtips. Um, yeah, that guy. So that is completely supplemental. Um, it doesn't connect to either of the two 12 volt batteries. It runs off a 9 volt battery that's just inboard. And go ahead and press the red button there. It's going to be audible and visual. Okay. Now it says fire. 
Okay, doesn't mean there's a fire. It should really be labeled heat sensor. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I will show you later the four things that pick it up. So there are five things that can make it buzz. Okay. One is the push button that you just hit. Uh, a temperature sensor at the base of the left battery. A temperature sensor at the base of the right battery. Fusible cable above the left battery. Fusible cable above the right battery. Okay. Okay. So, um, and they're all heat sensors. None of them are smoke detectors. None of them are flame detectors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see that kind of black cavity up in the front there. Yeah. That's where the nose weights go. So we'll go over some weight and balance stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, your actual, we'll get into that later. Okay. Right. As we come down here, this is the controller yep. cooling fins. On the back side of this, we'll look later, you'll see some, some bands there that are pulling air through. Okay. While we're here, there are two speakers here. Uh, you've got your Vario audio on one of these and your comm radio on the other. Okay. When I want to play music, um, does it go in stereo? <laughs> uh, the headset jack right there <laughs> okay um, and then once the neck is passed there that pops up and grabs the neck okay so it's, it's a toolless way um, and I've got some that hammerhead is going to end up here and that keeper is going to hold it in and that's going to stop the battery from sliding back yep. and the battery from moving out okay yep. and we'll go through that okay so Clear prop. Centered and the uh, icon indicates center. Auto retract. So, wing runner thumbs up, then a couple of clicks. Clear prop.